Howdy and welcome back. Here we are to continue our journey with this war of mine. We just finished the basic tutorial and playthrough of the first day and we all survived. That's great. We've still got Katia, Pavle, Boris, and Chevetta with us. But we've got some problems, not just with morale, but we've got some serious wounds on Chevetta. So we're going to continue, see if we can get through the rest of this chapter. And the only things left to really teach in the playthrough would be a full combat scenario. So we'll see if there is any combat. We've done the combat in the night raids. We haven't done it against the residents as last time it was better to just let them take what they wanted. Howdy and welcome back. I'm Mike, your board gaming every dude, and this is This War of Mine. Before we continue playing, I do want to feature the t-shirt I'm wearing. So you got the sad astronaut, which I think is just fitting for this scenario. You got the rain dropping down. I imagine they're crying underneath it. I don't know. Single tier, something like that. But anyway, this is from Into the AM. They reached out to me and asked if I would like to be an affiliate. So I checked out their clothes, checked out the t-shirts. They've got some good geek wear and it's nice and fitted. It's nice and comfortable. I'm always looking for ways to be able to offer support for the channel. You never have to. If you want to support the channel, just click the like button, click the subscribe button. If you want to support in other ways, then you can check out Into the AM. You can look at their t-shirts. This is a size large. I'm about 170 pounds and about 5'10". And you can see it fits, it fits nice on me. It's not too tight or anything. Um, so it seems to be sized just about right. The arms get a little... Um, a little snug, but a lot of times that's what's like with t-shirts. I don't mind it as long as it's up here like this. Uh, you can see a couple of the other designs, one in the previous video, the astronaut with the, like, the dumbbell, um, and I believe this is, I have one more to show you, and that will probably be with a different game uh, with the mixtape, as it's a little more on the chipper 80s side. I don't think it really fits with this game. But anyway, the link's in the description below. If you use that, you get 10% off, um, and they have a t-shirt program where you sign up, it's like $15 a month or something like that, and they send you a new t-shirt each month. So check it out if that's for you. All right, let's go back to our residence. We're in the shelter, it's time for day two. Let's flip over this event card. All right, add three cold to the cold space. This is a problem. Uh, we've already got one cold there, so this is three more. And we don't have any board up. That's on the floor. Great. We're going to pretend it's there. Just remember there's one more because I am not getting up to put it there. Uh, we'll just know we have one extra one. Okay. Once I'm stationed here, like I'm stuck till the end of the video. Uh, I can increase the warmth by building boards and getting a board up token on my door. That's going to negate one of the colds. So I really need to get that built, but I don't have the materials needed to build the wood workshop so that I can do that. So we have a trouble. Airdrop. If no character went scavenging during the previous night, add the following tokens to the storage. Two canned food, three cigarettes, and one meds. Wow, that would have been super useful. Oh my goodness, almost as good as what I brought back, really. Um, the only way to be able to know this ahead of time is you can build a radio. I'll show you right here. If we had a radio, which we couldn't build, uh, I don't have the parts yet. If you build a radio, you can look at the top two cards from the events deck or the top card from the night raids deck, or you can relax and do something else there um, to lower misery. So that radio is incredibly useful if we can build that. After you resolve this, remove it from the game. So we'll put it in our rubbish. And now we get to move on to, we've done our morning. Now we're going to do our day action. Each character gets to play all their actions. I've got two actions for Katia because you can see here, even though her misery allows for three actions, her hunger is blocking one. So you always go by, if anything's blocked, that's what you go by. So two actions for Katia, two actions for Pavle, two actions for Boris, and only one action for Chivetta because of her wounds, right? So... She has a bandage assigned to her, that's good, but she wasn't healed during the last uh, morning dawn phase. So here we are. 
here we are. And we want to get a hatchet because we've got this cool narrative actions card that lets us do some cool things with the hatchet. So what are we going to do? I always like someone to take a nap and rest up. It, there's no real use for um, Chavetta to do that because she only gets one action and we're not going to get it back. So Chavetta is going to get assigned. She is going to... We can go outside... Let's, let's search the furniture while we can. So she's going to search the furniture. And we got a couple lock picks. We need to get through some of this rubble to find more items. And possibly even do some bargaining. But I don't have a whole lot to bargain with. We have enough water for tonight. But we only have three food. We're short one food. So if I could bargain for one food, that would be great. I think I'm going to have... Who's going to rest? Let's have... Um, Let's have Boris rest. He's going to take a nap in order to lower fatigue. And then I'm going to have Pavle go... He can't build anything yet. In order... We need to do some trading. So he's going to go outside. Actually, you know what? We're going to switch it up. Chavetta is going to go outside. Okay? That's, that's all we can do. Um, it's sad, but she volunteered herself to, to risk going out there. And then I'm going to have Katia doesn't need... Katia is going to start with a lock pick. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and pick the lock. All right, let's carry through this. Furniture first. What did you find? Uh, okay, Pavle, what did you find? You gain one med one herb, one mechanical part. That's awesome. That's what I need. Two water and one wood. This was an incredible find. Okay, so we have actually the maximum amount of water that we can have. We're out of tokens, so uh, six is the most we can have. We have one herb, but thank goodness we didn't waste any. So we get, is it a medicinal herb? No, it's just a plain old herb. Where are you at, herb? There you are. So we now have two herbs. And one mechanical part that's going to be the grays right there. I like it. And then what else do we get? We get two, we get one wood. Let's do that. And anything else? One med. That's incredibly useful. Um, because with this cold, cold it is what brings about illness. Um, if we don't stay warm enough. So there we go. I think I got everything. Yes, we did. Awesome. Remove this from the game. No problem. All right, good. And we found a nice bookshelf there. Okay, let's go ahead and take a nap. Lower the fatigue of the character placed here by two. So his fatigue is now, Boris's is now zero. No fatigue for Boris. Now let's go ahead and pick the lock. It requires a lock pick. So we're going to flip this over. Um, only if we use the lockpick. And I do wish it was on the card. We have to, it's in the journal, we have to roll a dice. And this is something I wish that they had just on the card. Um, to pick the lock, roll the black die, 1 to 3, no effect, 4 to 10, you get to use the lockpick and discard it. So, good. We made it. Discard the lockpick. Okay. So we only have one lockpick left. Flip it over. And cool thing is we get some resources. So we need to use some of this wood now because we have too many resources. Boy, okay. Then uh, remove this from the game. Cool. I forgot that picking a lock or opening a closed door gave us resources of some kind. Okay, uh, now we're going to go outside. Roll the dice. If it's a one, she gets hit by a sniper. And that's... That's going to kill her. Um, almost, anyway. Almost. Seven. She made it. We're going to flip over the top visitor card. It's an arrival. Um, we can't take any more. We have four people. That's the max. A malnourished stranger asks for shelter. We have to turn him away. We have to turn him away. If you decide to take this person in, you may buy any items this person is carrying. See journal trade sheet. Trade commission is two. Man, do you know what? I made a mistake. Katia is kicking herself right now because she has the bargain. 
she has the bargain ability. Man. Um, but Katia didn't go out. They sent out Chavetta, and you know why? Because it seems like there's no hope because she's already wounded. Um, even though she's got a bandage, so we got to remember that next time. We threw her to the wolves. All right. See trade sheet, trade commission of two. All right. We go to our trade sheet. And here it just tells us that we have to pay the trade commission first. So a trade of two means that I have to pay a trade commission of two. So that yellow icon there would need to equal two. Um, and then I have to tr exchange tokens of, this, of the same value to match something. So let's say um, we've got... A, we've got a mechanical part with a value of 2. So I'd have to pay my commission first of 1 and 2. Then I could trade something for the value. So I could trade a weapon part for a mechanical part. Or meds would be, I'd have to trade something of 10. Or we could get a knife, trade something for a value of 8. Right now, some things we don't need is we don't need sugar, weapon parts, or herbs that I'm aware of. We also don't need meds yet. That's valuable, so we might need it later. Everything else we need. All right, you cannot trade your regular supplies. Your wood and gears and things like that are not tradable. So let's see what we need in order to build stuff. Um, electrical parts for a radio, we can't do that. To build a crude stove, we need mechanical parts. We can do that. Uh, simple heater, actually, we can build that now. And let's see. Um, the moonshine still would be useful, and that's a mechanical part. Metal workshop we can build now. Deadfall trap is useful for food. We need So basically, we need mechanical parts. That's what we need. So let's get all the mechanical parts that we can get. Uh, yeah, let's do it. There's one, two, three mechanical parts. So that would be two, four, six. I need to trade a total of eight. Um, that's six plus the fee, so that's three, four, five, six, seven, if I did those, and, or I can trade a ten, and is there something else for two that I could take? Two, four, six, there isn't, so I would be wasting, or I can just not get all the mechanical parts. How about that? Let's do three. Four, five, six, and keep these. So I'm going to keep an herb. I'm going to keep a meds. I'm going to trade these in order to get two mechanical parts. So let's do that. Let's put this back in. Sugar, weapon part, and herbs. And let's get two more mechanical parts. One, and where are you in there? I know I got another electrical part, mechanical part. There we go. All right. Now, for our, our, our next action, we need to start we need to start building stuff. So shuffle this card back into the visitor's deck. Okay, I can do that. There we go. All shuffled up for our next visitors. Everybody came back inside, back into the living room here. Now, Chivetta, uh, she has used her only action. There are no actions left, but man, she did a good job. Uh, going outside there. Now, Pavil has a second action left because he, uh, or no, I'm sorry, Boris, because he rested, he removed his block. So he actually has two actions left. Okay. Because now we have just hunger and misery at three, he used his first action to take a nap. And because we removed the fatigue, we've now unblocked two. So he removed his fatigue and now he has two actions. That's great. So I want um, Pavle to rest next time. So Pavle is going to go take a nap. Uh, Pavle is green. There you go. And Boris is going to build something. He's going to build a fitting. And I want to build a, another fitting with Katia. That will be their only actions. Uh, that, well, that will be her last action. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Uh, unless we can find food. I don't think there was any food to trade. No. How am I going to get food? I could go outside to trade again, actually. 
So, can we do this? I think we can. Let's, let's build a workshop first. And let's build a, we can't build a radio. Let's build a deadfall trap or a, a simple heater. A simple heater would help with discarding cold tokens. Let's do that. Let's build, we're going to build two things. We're going to build a workshop and a simple heater. Okay. That's it. And she is just chilling out. Okay. So she's going to be over here so I know she's ready. Let's build a workshop first. That is what I've got Boris doing. So we're going to discard one mechanical part and five components right there and three wood, one, two, three. Okay, so we still have plenty of resources. We could stand to have more. This workshop, I believe, can be upgraded as can the heater. Let's see. We can improve, build a bed, improve the... No, actually, there's no improving the workshop, just the metal workshop. So this can go by itself somewhere. A cage would be, a chair would be nice. Cage, oh my goodness. Um, a chair is a way to remove mystery. All right. Those are all ideas. If we want to use those, we have to place a character a new idea, and we can choose two of those to add to our fittings that are available. All right, so this can go anywhere. And we don't need it to be next to anything, so we don't want to block off anything good. I mean, let's just put it next to the bed. There we go. There's the workshop. Now we can make a board up, which is great. And let's also do a simple heater. Simple heater, we are going to use five components and three wood. So we'll discard a five and put three back in the supply there and get rid of our components. And now we have a simple heater, which can be upgraded one time. So we'll put it here so that it can be upgraded once next to furniture there. That is made, we flip it over, and for we can start to make a fire to discard these cold tokens. All right, that is everybody's actions. Taking the bag, lower the fatigue of Pavle, so he is no longer fatigued at all, which is great, which means he gets one more action. So that's awesome because the only token he has is hunger of three. He's used two actions. He has that third one available. So this bed really can help to save everyone's life by improving their life. Okay, so everyone's going to hang out over here in the uh, workshop. Well, we'll just hang out right here near the ladder. Okay, I only have two actions left. So Katia is over here. She is fatigued and she is hungry. She has been working too hard. So two final actions. I would like to use both of those to... I would like to make a board up. And that's going to take four wood and one component, which is all I have. That's all I have. So I can't actually do that a second time. And the other, I can build something, or I can use that simple heater, which is what I think I need to do. I think I need to use the simple heater to get rid of these cold tokens for the future, until I can do more board ups. So let's do that. Let's use up that wood and get rid of those cold tokens. All right, so let's make a board up first. One component plus four wood. Boom. There we go and one component, and I get to place a board up token on one of the holes in the shelter. There we go. Board ups lower the damage wounds during night raids. See journal, night raid, yeah, we don't need to worry about that. So I put it over a hole. We got holes all over, one, two, three. I think there's only three holes, and maybe only, there might be a fourth. No, there's only three, there's only three, good. So we covered that up, we're safer. 
Now let's uh, go ahead and make a fire and let's do all six wood to remove one, two, three, four, five, six. For each two wood, discard one cold token. You can also burn books for this. So that's three. We're left with only one cold token. So we're not going to face illness tonight. That's good. Okay. And that takes us to the end of our day phase. Let's go ahead and move on to the dusk. Okay, everybody gets water. Everybody's drinking tonight. So one, two, three, four waters. Good work, everybody. No damage. Now we have to divvy up food. Someone doesn't get to eat tonight. The raw food is going to lower hunger by one. Um, so Katia is absolutely eating tonight. And so is, uh, man, um, so is Boris. And someone's going to have to go without food tonight. And Chavetta, the school headmistress, she has those wounds. And she's insisting if anyone's going to die, she's the most likely. So Pavle eats. And... Chavetta goes without food tonight. Okay. Let's let's keep moving. All right, so raw food. Hunger is gone. Hunger is down to level one for uh, Katia. And then there is no hunger left at all for Pavle or for Boris. So we can discard all of those. Chavetta goes up to hunger level two. All right. Two and hungers over there. Two people got to rest. Oh, two people are fatigued. So somebody is going to sleep tonight. Someone is going to sleep on the bed. I think, and it's going to be. It's going to be Chavetta. Is going to sleep on the bed tonight to remove all her fatigue. For our guard, my best chance right now, I think Pavle can, I think we can get away with it. We can get away with Pavle. Um, he has prowess of one, which means he gets to re-roll one dice. And the trouble is we don't have any weapons though. So I think that, let's see, I think that Boris is absolutely going to be going out. And Katia, Katia needs to rest, but Katia is actually going to stand guard for tonight because we don't have any weapons. So yeah, we, we just can't risk it yet. We can't risk it yet. So he only gets to bring back six items. If Katia went, we could bring back a total of nine, a total of nine, and we will need... Of those six, two of those are going to need to be water. So we're going to come back. He's only going to be, be able to carry back four pounds worth if Katia doesn't go with him. Um, but I just don't think we'll make it through the night raid. I don't think we'll make it through the night raids alone. However, we don't have a ton to lose. We need food. Katia's going out. We need food. Yeah, Katia's going out. And we are taking with us a lockpick and meds and an herb just in case we need to trade. They don't weigh anything. So we can take those back and forth. And they're safe from night raids at least. A shovel, we could t we'll see if we need to take it. Actually, we do. Because, oh boy, if we go to the central square, there's rubble. So we'll need a shovel. If we go to the construction site, there's bars and a rubble. Bars, we would need a saw. We, we can't get there. Or we can go far to the hotel. There's a basement entrance and a closed door. Is there anything here that has food? It looks like the construction site could give us vegetables. Mm. I think we need to go to the construction site. And there's rubble. So we're going to take the shovel just in case. And that means we only get 12 exploration. So let's do it. One, two, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And we increase the fatigue of everybody who is taking an action. So Katia now has fatigue of 2. Um, Chavetta is going to take a nap. So her fatigue actually, well, she's sleeping overnight. So her fatigue is totally removed. She's good to go. If we can just heal her wounds, Chavetta might make it through this. I'm afraid that they've given up on her. Um, she hasn't given up, but I'm afraid she's getting there. Okay, and then we'll add one fatigue to Boris and Pavle. There we go. So fatigue level one, fatigue level one. And let's do this. Let's start our exploration. We are now into our night phase. And we have chosen the construction site right here. I can also explore. I can return two exploration cards to have a look around the area. Usually it's story. I haven't gained much from it. And I don't feel like we can afford it at this point. I don't feel like we can afford it. Uh, you may be able to get things from it. I don't know. Here we go, first one. Ignore this card or search the heat. Return two exploration cards and raise the noise by one or raise the noise by one and roll to draw and resolve one card from the findings deck. Um, boy, these residents are risky. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna raise and roll. And boy, this could be, this could be really bad. Six, thank goodness. Search the findings, and it's a heap. We get an electrical part, so we can build a radio. That's awesome. Chems and a cigarette. Uh, nobody here smokes, and the chems are useful, you know, if I build an herbal garden, I believe. But, you know, we can trade, we can trade them too. Uh, but yeah, the cigarette, fortunately, uh, the addictions we have are uh, coffee that I'm aware of. I'm looking, hmm, no. Oh wait, no. Boris has a habit of cigarettes, so actually that could help him, unfortunately, in a bad way, help him out. And Katia and Pavle would both benefit from having a guitar in storage. The music lowers the misery. So if we find anything like a broken guitar or regular guitar, that could be incredibly valuable. All right, search the heap. We did that. Electrical part, chems. Oh, I forgot the electrical part. Chems and cigarette. There we go. An electrical part. And I believe we get to roll for special findings. So give me a seven to nine is what I want. Seven to nine, please. Seven. Yes, so that is one vegetable. One person is eating tonight. I need more food. I need a lot more food. Okay, so we're gonna shuffle you back up in there and let's keep exploring. Ignore this card or search the pantry. Return two exploration cards or raise the noise by one and roll. Man, the noise is going up. Um, but we need more food. We need a lot more food, but we're going to be coming back with items that we can trade if we need to. So I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to return to, and then we are going to resolve findings for the pantry. Moonshine, vegetable, and sugar. Good. Uh, we don't really need the moonshine at this point. Uh, hunger is more important. But hey, two people are eating tonight. And moonshine and sugar. Okay, got a few things going. Let's keep searching. Search the heap, same thing. Uh, return two exploration cards and raise the noise or raise the noise and roll. Man, I'm gonna return two and raise the noise by one and not roll uh, because I'm afraid of these residents. I'm afraid of what we might find and I need to shuffle this back into findings, flip one over, please be something good, a 
keep. Electrical part, chems, and cigarette. Okay. I mean, it's all right. We could do better, but it's all right. And chems and an electrical part. Those are hard to come by, so those are valuable if I can keep it before totally losing it, right? Getting mobbed or something like that where we lose it. And we roll this for special findings. Seven, ten. At ten, we get a shovel. Well, we don't need it, but um, it is worth six, but it also weighs a pound. So if there was some option, some of these areas allow you to trade and um, not so in the construction site. If we had gone to the central square, we could have traded actually with people there. But hey, here we are. Reality impact. Something has happened. We're going to draw a color card. It's green. That's good. So it's not going to be too bad. We're going to check the number on the exploration cart on this locations card. All right. So construction site, exploration, green, script 881. Let's see what happened. They were rum, uh, rummaging around this construction site. 300, excuse me, 881. Let's find out what happened. In a time of war, you learn that whenever you hear airplane engines, you should curl up in a safe place and start praying. This time, instead of bombs, they dropped countless leaflets. The leaflets contain the promise of a hell to come that will force all remaining people in the city to abandon their unclean houses as fast as possible. We tear the leaflets into shreds, wondering how many people buy this crap. Tomorrow we will once again see old people abandoning their homes. Old people who have been living in fear far too long. In a time of war, the word cynical loses all meaning. Superstitious people run away and we clean their houses of anything that might be useful to us. Back to the game. All right. Afterwards, place this under the location card. It'll go back in uh, later. Reality impact, are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Something unexpected has happened. Green. I thought I shuffled it, but just in case I didn't, I'm shuff I'm fine with getting green twice. I don't know if I shuffled. Uh, I mean, that's what I want, actually, is green twice. And blue. Okay. Blue is usually not too bad. So I got blue. Let's shuffle it up. Um, draw a card from the exploration deck. Check the card with that number. Exploration deck. Let's go over here. And it's going to be... Blue, so that's going to be 163 is the script, and I'll just put that in the bottom. 163. From my understanding, this is the exploration deck. This is the unknown deck. 163, is that what I said? I sure hope so. 163, what, what do we find? 163. There's nothing here. Just some rubble. Nearly the whole building collapsed. There's still some dust in the air. Wait, were we hearing right? There's knocking. We hear a small voice. Hello? Please help us. I'm here with my son, but we won't last long. We're caved in. Help us, please. We have a choice. No, either we were hearing things we're going to go to look for something to eat or we must do something or we can't do it but we'll try to get someone to help look we got two shovels i think we can do this we must do something return six exploration cards if you have a shovel with you return only two and see 1069 we have a shovel uh, we're going to return two that only leaves one exploration card left and we're gonna go to script 10, 60, right? I always lose my place, oh my goodness. 
Where do we go? Where do we go? 1069. As fast as I look, I forget. 1069. We managed to get them free. The woman and her son were pulled out of a hole in the rubble. They had been lying on the bodies of their other family members. The child was shaking and kept calling, Daddy, Daddy. The woman at first fainted, but when she recovered, she thanked all of us. We felt human again. Lower the misery of all characters present by one. Um, that is both Katia and Boris. So, kind of mixed feelings on that one, but they did the right thing. And they saved two lives. All right. Let's flip it over. Jammed door. Check the current location card for jammed door. If there is no jam door, discard this and draw a new card from the exploration deck. Okay. Um, so that's over here, not the unknown deck. Closed door. Check the current location card for a closed door. Nope. Um, no closed door. Discard and draw a new one from the exploration deck. Okay. Door. Peek through the he keyhole, return one exploration card to look at the next in the unknown deck. I don't have one. Or enter, raise the noise by one, or roll for the noise. I'm going to raise the noise by one because we're done. There's no unknown cards to go through. Um, I do get a little confused sometimes when it talks about the exploration deck versus the unknown deck when it tells me to return an exploration card right? Because it's in the unknown deck. So exploration card is the card. Exploration deck is that over there, if I, if I got that right. Okay. Um, so let's end this phase. We need to decide what we're bringing back. We can bring up to nine pounds. We need to bring back two waters. Um, we have two food. Those don't weigh anything. We're bringing back the electrical parts. So that's two pounds. Um, two shovels, that's four pounds. All of this is weightless. Uh, five and six pounds, actually we're good. Seven, eight pounds is water. And I can bring an extra water just to have it, or I can bring back a, uh, we have no supplies <laughs> to build stuff. Wow. Um, we need gears and water. Mm. Oh boy. Uh, we need gears and wood. So let's take a component. Let's take a component back. And um, I have a feeling we're going to be in trouble the next night. But that's it. Oh, boy. Okay. I, no, we're going to need wood. And, ah, I don't know. That's it. We're just stopping with that. Uh, we, although, instead of taking sugar, no, we've got some exploring we can still do if we can make it through some of these spots, um, then we can actually, actually find some supplies that we need. So we don't, we don't need the moonshine. We don't need the sugar. Ah. Uh, man but we can trade we can trade and we need to trade so that's it all right it's time for our night raid and man i only got one guy on guard Ugh. that makes me nervous all right let's shuffle our exploration deck deck back do that yeah so for our night raid phase for fortunately we have one board up and we have um, one prowess for Pablo, so he gets one reroll if needed. Of course, at this point, um, the night raids still aren't that bad. They get worse later in the game as worse cards get added in. Here we go. Reality impact. That could be okay. We might be all right. Draw a card from the colors deck. 
I shuffled it up, I know, so we're at red, okay. Reveal the top card of the night raids and choose the number with that color on it. So that's going to be red, and red is going to be number 90. So we're going to go to script 90 and shuffle this back in. So script 90. Let's find out what happened tonight. Script 90. Here we go. A limping man is approaching our shelter. He looks suspicious. Then again, who doesn't look suspicious these days? He says he's a rebel. He says he broke some bones jumping from the second floor of a building when a patrol was chasing him. He knows the city like the back of his hand and tells us he knows a wrecked shelter where supplies can be found. He's clearly terrified, but is he being followed? We can let him in and help him, or we can shut the door in his face. Ah, uh, he could be totally lying. And, oh man, he could be, uh, he's telling the truth, but he was probably followed. Wisdom is shut the door. And Boris is by himself. Boris is only halfway. In, he's empathy of five. It's pretty high, but um, he can shut the door in his face to save the life of Javetta and his two friends. And oh my goodness, what do we do? Tell me in the tell me in the comments. What do we do? What do we do? gonna let him in my gut says shut the door in his face I don't have weapons I can't defend he's wounded and a patrol was chasing him whatever 566, we're letting him in, and if this if this cost us our life, it cost us our life. A few hours later, the limping man settles down. Thank goodness. He starts staring at the window. Finally, he sighs with relief. Before he leaves the shelter, he draws us a makeshift map with a piece of coal. He tells us, here, this is how I'll repay you. It's not far from here. Write map 566 on a blank token and place it in the storage. You know what I forgot to bring here? My marker, oh my goodness, 566. So we take one of the blank tokens from the box and we write map 566. And at the beginning of any dawn phase, we can choose to send a character to check a location on this map and we'll turn to a script to find out what happens it um i hope it's good i don't see any reason why he would send us somewhere bad there there's nothing that i'm aware of for him to gain from that okay we made it through we made it through night raids um thank goodness we let him in i hope i hope that doesn't come back on us okay Let's move to the next phase. Night raids, uh, we have our crime wave. So we have to add two cards. And again, I'm I wanting to keep these night raids uh, from going in that deck as long as possible because I can avoid residents. I cannot avoid night raids. So we're putting the last two residents in and shuffling them up. So now all the bad uh, resident cards are in there. So that's dangerous. All right, I believe that takes us to our dawn phase. Scavenging party returns and we get to assign meds and bandages, draw our fate card and our narrative actions. And I can also send someone to check out this map as well. Um, let's see. All right, let's come on back. Welcome back. Welcome back home. They've kind of become a 
an odd family, an empathetic crew. So far, they've made decisions that they're getting along mostly well. You know, they're letting each other rest and eat. Um, so I'm happy that we don't have much fighting going on at this point, at least not outwardly. They're, they're keeping it to themselves. All right, and we bring everything back. We didn't have to leave a single thing behind. We've got herbs, chems, meds, uh, cigarettes if we end up needing them, and shovels. I would rather he stop smoking, but um, this is real life. And then we've got our water. Uh, so we still have four water, so everyone's going to get to drink tonight. Uh, but we only got two vegetables, so I'm going to need to get two more food. Someone's going to have to go outside um, and do some trading and hope that somebody trades with some food. And we've got some electrical parts so we can build more. Moonshine, I don't think we need to use at this point. Same with the sugar. And then our one component as well. All right, everything is back. Let's see what's going to happen with our... Oh, let's assign... Uh, we don't have anything we can assign because no one's sick. So there's no point in putting a med on anybody. Let's find out what happens. Raise the illness of all ill characters who did not take any meds by one. Heal the wounds of all characters who had bandages by one. Thank goodness. So, Chavetta is now down to only one wound. Discard bandages, tokens from all characters. All right, so we need more bandages, though. Um, so this is, this is going better than I could have hoped. If cold tokens minus board ups equals five or more, it doesn't. We would raise illness. Nope. Exchange the nearest medium location. All right. So we see the size of a location in the bottom right down here, and it goes from nearest to furthest. So we remove the construction site from the game where we just were. The hotel's a little closer now, and. There's a sniper junction far away. I have never gone there. I just don't see any any good in going there. Okay, resolve the weight tokens, then discard them. We don't have any, but just for demonstration, let me show you. Let's say we had the rainwater collector. For an action, I could have placed one of my characters there. That would mean, for that action, what they do is they place a weight token. That's it. That's it. You place a weight token. Then... Come this dawn phase, we would resolve it. We would remove that weight token and we would follow the directions. In this case, roll a dice to find out how much water we collected. You can have more than one weight token there. You just have to take more than one action to do it. But we don't actually have any, so we don't worry about that. Resolve Spirit A on all character cards. It's not terrible, but it's not great. Um, if any... Again, you can do these in any order. If any character in the group is hungry, level 3, raise Chavetta's Misery by 1. No one is no one is hungry. So we're doing okay there. Our highest is level 2. Boris. If Boris is fatigued of level 2 or 3, raise his Misery. Nope. He's good. Pavle. No effect. And, oh, Katia. Discard 1 coffee. Or raise Katina's misery by one. I'm sorry, Katia. We still don't have any coffee. Um, so misery by one. You know, she's not the happiest camper. But she's all right. Her misery is at zero. So it's just level one. We can take this. Then shuffle this back into the fate deck. All right. Well, we didn't get any hatchet like I wanted. So we'll see what happens. Now I get to draw a, um, a narrative action. Close call. Play during any combat. Ignore all wounds from a single combat die roll. Or play during the night raid phase. Ignore all wounds from one night raid card. That's awesome. So we get to save that and use it at any appropriate time. Now we go to our alcohol. Um, Moonshine, raise one chosen character's fatigue by two and lower their misery by one. No, I don't think that's a trade-off that I really want to do. Um, raise their fatigue by two would take them 
it's just not a good no it's not a good trade-off death of nobody ran away or died so we're good well that takes us to the end of our second day i think this is a good stopping point for right now stay with me i'm going to come back in our next video and we're going to find out what happens on day three in this war of mine i love you all Thank mm -hmm. you.